Um, this is my room in my new house. It's under repairs at the moment. Uh, we had a flood already in the new house. Me and my fiance, so... We had to take out ceiling tiles and we're trying to fix it and it's taking a long time. Anyway... Let's do this. Um, I've never done this before, so I'm sorry if it's not interesting. I'm sorry if it falls flat on its face. Um, I'm sorry I'm not fully set up because I have my PC set up behind me here. But, um, I'm trying to get... Cool, I can see my chat. Okay. So, I got card covers, card sleeves. To protect the good ones, you can't see my face, but that's okay. My face is not the important thing here. Excuse me. Um, now I have one of these. I got it off Amazon. And I have a whole bunch of these that were given to me. That I'm going to open and see what's inside. Um, this one is a green elf, mono green elf ramp deck this one is. These are Sturwick's Haven School of Magic. I think that's how I say it. I'm not sure. I'm never good at saying things, but anyway. Um, cool. Let me figure out how to open these because I'm wearing gloves and it's going to be difficult. Sorry if I don't talk much when I'm opening these. I'm just trying to concentrate so I don't damage the cards. Because I do not want to damage these cards. Probably not the safest way to open up a deck, but... For my own personal help or the cards, but all right, we got. Um, I I don't know how to do this the best, so I apologize. So I'm just gonna kind of go through them one by one and show you, I guess. Um, except for the lands, of course, I'm gonna take those out and set those aside. Um, but it looks like we got a Dwayne Gilt Elf Gilt Leaf Dean. A uh, legendary creature, creature, elf warrior. It has reach, and other elf creatures you control get plus one, plus one. One attack, one defense. Whenever Dwayne Giltleaf Dean enters or attacks, you gain one life for each attacking elf you control. That's what the artwork looks like on that one. It is a rare uh, land, land, land. All of this is land, so let me get all of this land out of here, so we can continue. Um, okay. We have three, four overruns. Creatures you control get plus three, plus three, and gain trample until end of turn. That is what it, it looks like. Um... I'm going to run out of room really quickly to put all these. I have three Scour from Existence, Exile Target Permanent. I have three of these. They are commons. The last ones were uncommons. Um, these next three are uncommons. Uh, Lalawar Tribe. Uh, it just adds three. It's a creature. It's an elf druid. It just adds three mana to your mana pool. And I have three of them. Let me actually put these somewhere safer. 
Oh, one of the tops is already damaged. Great. Luckily, it's just a common. Um, these are, I have three of these, and they are rares. Uh, Desolation Twin. It's a creature. It's an Eldrazi. Creatures, you, when you cast a spell, create a 10-10 colorless creature token. I got three of these guys. And they are rare. Uh, these next three are uncommon. Uh, Eldorazi, it's a creature again. It's an Eldorazi creature. Um, whenever you cast a spell, you may return target creature card from your graveyard to the battlefield. It's a 10-9 creature. And it is a uncommon. Um, I have a few more rares coming up here. Okay. Uh... I have an elephant creature. When Terra Stoden enters the battlefield, you may destroy up to three target non-creature permanents. For each permanent put into a graveyard, this way its controller creates a 3-3 three, three elephant creature token. I'm going to have to start putting some of these in protective sleeves. Uh, Skarig... Goletach, I don't know. It's got, it's a beast creature. It's got 9-9, nine, 9 nine attack, 9 defense. Uh, trample, blood rush. Uh, discard. This creature target attacking creature gets plus 9, plus 9, and gains trample until end of turn. Cool. And then I have two of these. Moldgroff Monastery. It's a insect creature. It's got trample. When this creature dies, exile it, and then return two creature cards at random from your graveyard to the battlefield. It's an 8-8 eight, eight creature. It's an insect. That's what it looks like. And then I have three of these boys. It's a Glade Heart Cavalry creature elf knight. When Glade Heart Cavalry enters the battlefield, support six. Put a 1-1... One, one creature on each of up to six other target creatures. Whenever a creature you control with a 1-1 one, one counter on it dies, you gain two life. And I have three of these. And then I have two well-wishers. It's a 1-1 one, one elf. You gain one life for each elf in play. So you kind of want to build up your characters and then uh, release this guy into play. That is a common. And two of the first ones again. So I'm not going to repeat those. Um, we have four commons. Uh, Salvin Ranger. It's an elf scout. It's a 1-1. One, one. When Salvin Ranger enters the battlefield, you may search your library for a basic land card. Reveal it, put it into your hand, and then shuffle your library. And then these guys have been in the game before. It's a Elvish Mystic. It just adds one green mana to your mana pool. Um, then, last but not least, I have three, four Lana War Elves. It's an Elf Druid. It just adds one green mana to your mana pool if you tap it. Okay. Um, let's put some of these in protective sleeves because... I do not wish these to perish. Okay, I'm going to put you there. I'm going to take the lands, and I'm going to put them like that. Okay, I've already gotten you. Uh, I have uh, many, many binders of cards, and I'm planning on selling if anyone is interested. Um, these copies will be added to the binder. So, and any uncommons and commons and stuff. I mainly just collect them for the artwork. And if I don't like the artwork, they're going up for sale on eBay uh, sometime within the next month or so. Just so you all are aware. 
So, so far I am going to be selling two Dwayne Elfleaf Brute Deans, which um, have reach. All elf creatures control, I, you control, get plus one, plus one. And when it attacks, you gain one life for each attacking elf. And then I have a creature elf knight, two of them that I'll be selling. Uh, when Gladeheart Cavalry enters the battlefield, put six plus one plus one counters on six different creatures, so one on each six different creatures. And whenever it dies, you gain two health. And then I'm going to be selling one Mulgard Monastery. It's got Trample, and when it dies, exile it, and you get to return a card from your graveyard to your hand. I'm sorry I'm not looking directly at the camera. I'm looking at the screen that I am recording from to make sure I am in frame still. And I'm doing this now because I don't want these to fall on the ground around me and get damaged, so. Um, the elephant I'm going to keep for shorzies. And then I'm also going to be selling two desolate desolation twins. Uh, whenever it casts, whenever you cast this as a spell, you get to create a 10-10 colorless creature token. So, yeah, that's cool. And if they're not up within the month. They'll be up at some point. I'll let you guys know on my Twitter. Cool. Um, now time to open up these. I have a total of 11 of these booster packs. So let's see what's going on. And sorry if I'm like looking up over here. This is where my main computer screen is for my PC to see if anyone's commented or anything like that. got one artwork uh, 7 out of 18 this is what it looks like and we have a land card uh, yes I am opening Magic the Gathering packs um I'm opening up uh, booster packs that a friend gave me. Um, looks like we have one white inkling summoning. Uh, this is a sorcery lesson. Uh, create a 2-1 white and black inkling creature token with flying. Um, that's what it looks like. It costs two either white mana or black mana, plus one any color to summon. Then I have a green field trip. It's a sorcery card. Search your library for a basic forest card, then put that card onto the battlefield, tapped, and then shuffle. And it has learn. You may reveal a lesson card you own from outside the game and put it into your hand. Or discard a card, then draw a card. Yeah, I used to play Magic as well. I'm more so just collecting them for the artwork and stuff. Like, I have binders and binders and stuff that I just collect for artwork. And then I'm planning on selling most of my cards on eBay because I don't really play the game. And if I don't like the artwork, I'm going to be get, uh, selling them on eBay and stuff. So uh, We have a Suthyster. I'm going to butcher a lot of these names, by the way. Uh, Adept. Creature, it's a mer it's a merfolk wizard, uh, one mana and one blue mana, tapped, draw a card, then discard a card. That's what he looks like. Uh, 
Um, you know, I'm not really sure. I have a lot of older cards, like a lot of like white borders and gray borders and stuff in my collection that I'm probably going to be selling as well because I don't really care for the artwork on them. Uh, I should do a whole video where I just uh, show those and stuff because I have like an entire like 9 by 16 bin of binders full of Magic Gathering cards that I'm going to be getting rid of soon. Um, Quandrix Feld, Felge Mage. I, again, I'm going to butcher it. It's a merfolk. Whenever you cast or copy an instant or sorcery spell, put a plus one, plus one counter on this creature. Then we have another land. Um, you know, I couldn't even tell you that because a lot of them were given to me and, uh, a lot of them, again, are like the black and white borders and stuff that are my earliest, but I don't know the names of the sets because they were given to me, so I don't really know the name of the set, unfortunately. I'm sure, I'm sure I could look it up and stuff, but I... Like, look up the name of the title, like this one, Grinning Ingus. I'm sure I could look it up and be like, oh, this is from this pack, or whatever. But, I don't know, because they were given to me. Um, this is an elemental creature. Sorry. Uh, but yeah, again, I can probably just... I'm, gonna, I'm, yeah. I'm probably going to be doing a video just showing them all off and stuff, and being like... These are the ones I'm going to get rid of, and I'm going to be selling them in, like, random packs, like 50 or 100 or something. More if they're more valuable single cards by themselves in uh, protective sleeves and stuff. Return Grinny Ingus to the owner's hand, add blank blank, add colorless, two colorless mana, and one red mana, active only in sorcery, to the battlefield. That's what he looks like. Um, Expressive Irritation. Sorcery. Look at the top three cards of your library. Put one of them into your hand. Put one of them at the bottom of your library and exile one of them. You may play... You may play the exiled card at the end of your turn. That's what it looks like. It's a red-blue uh, mana to cast. Here is a one color... One random mana, blue mana red mana and blue or red to cast. This is a Maelstrom Muse. It's a Dojin wizard. It's got flying. Whenever Maelstrom Mule attacks, the next instant or sorcery spell you cast this turn costs one less to cast. Costs one less mana to cast. Where X is Maelstrom Mana's power and its ability resolves. That's what he looks like. He's a fiery water boy. And we got four more in this pack before I got to put two of them, the end here, in protective covers because they are rares. Um, this one is a Quandrix Command. It's an instant. Choose two. Uh, return target creatures or planeswalker to its owner's hand. Counter target artifact, enchantment, or spell. Put two plus one plus one counters on any target creature. Or target player shuffles up to three target cards from their graveyard into their library. That is what he looks like. And then we have this guy at the end. It's a creature. It's a token creature. It's an elemental token creature. I'm going to put him with the lands. And then we have Teferi's Protection. It's an instant. Until your next turn, your life total can't change and gain... And you gain protection from everything. All permanents you control phase out. Exile Teferi's Perfection. That is what he looks like. It is a legendary, actually. It's got a red thing. I'm going to put that there so I can put that in a protective covering at the end. And then finally we have a foil card. Uh, Expel. It's an instant. Exile target tapped creature. That is what it looks like. Um, I'm going to probably 
save this artwork, see what it leads up to or whatever. Um, all of the cards that we just went through in this pack here, I am probably not going to be keeping, but... <laughs> anyway, uh, we have ten more of these to go through. Be careful doing that, I don't want to cut myself and bleed all over these cards. Um, okay, we have another artwork. This is 68 of 81. Right off the bat, we have a foil land card. It's a mountain, it's a basic land. And then we have a full white uh, that's a mini game. Uh, we have a full white reduce to memory. It's a sorcery lesson. Um, exile target non land permanent. Its controller creates a 3 2 red and white spirit creature token. That is what he looks like. I like the artwork on that one, so I'm going to be keeping this one. So I'm going to be setting him aside so I can keep him for later. I need to move this tape so I don't damage these cards. Anyway, uh, now we have a Bayou Groff. It's a plant dog. Um, and as an additional cost to cast this spell, sacrifice a creature or pay three mana. It's a 5-4 creature. Um, uh, Tangle Trap, it's an instant, choose one of the two. Tangle Tap deals 5 damage to target creature with flying, or destroy target artifact. Uh, it's a squirrel creature. Uh, Scurred Colony. Screw it, I don't, again, I'm gonna be butchering everything here. Uh... It's got Reach, Scurred Colony, gets plus two, plus two, as long as you control eight or more land cards. Oh, uh, we have a Spring Main Creven. It's an elk creature. When Spring Glit... When Spring Main Creven enters the battlefield, you gain two life. That's what he looks like. Leech Fanatic, Human Warlock. As long as it's your turn, Leech Fanatic has lifelink. It's a 2-2 uh, Human Warlock. We have a Human Shaman. It's a Pastrami uh, Apprentice. Whenever you copy an instant or sorcery spell, Pastrami Apprentice cannot be blocked this turn. If that spell has mana value 5 or greater, put a plus 1 plus 1 counter on Pastrami. That's what he looks like. Um, here is another legendary. We have another reduced to memory. I'm just going to set aside there. Uh, Harness Infinity. It's an instant card. Exchange your hand and graveyard. Exile, harness, infinity. It's a three swamp, three forest, one random mana to cast. Um, this one is a rare. It's a legendary creature. Creature, uh, Unvel Unvelida, Dean of Perfection. You may exile an instant or sorcery card from your hand and put three hone counters on it. It gains at the beginning of your upkeep. This card is exiled. Remove hone counter from it. And when the last hone counter is removed from this card, it's exiled. You may cast it. It costs four less to cast this way. 
and it's got a backside too. Uh, at the beginning of your upkeep, exile the top card of each opponent's library until the end of turn. You may cast spells from among those exiled cards, and you may spend mana as though it were mana of any color to cast those spells. Whenever you cast a spell from exile, you put a plus one plus one counter on this card. So that side, and that side. And finally, Duress, the sorcery. A uh, target opponent reveals their hand. You choose a non-creature, non-land card from it. That player discards that card. Okay, these are all cards I'm keeping. So these are the cards I'm keeping. So far. These are the cards I'm selling. Okay, I may do... I don't know. I don't know. have another artwork. It is 64 of 81. That is what it looks like. Hold on, let me grab it better. And yes, if you could not tell, my phone is propped up on Mountain Dew. Um, we have a basic swamp card. Elemental Summoning. It's a sorcery lesson. Create a 4-4 blue and red elemental creature token. Come on, focus. That's what it looks like. Um, this is a stonebound mentor. It's a spirit advisor. Whenever more one or more cards leave your graveyard, scry one. It's a 3-3 attacking creature. It's a 3-3 creature. Uh, this is a spirit bird creature. It's called a Stone Rise Spirit. It's got flying. For the cost of four mana and a tap, exile a card from your graveyard. Target creature gains flying until end of turn. My head is itchy. This is a spirit dwarf creature. Uh, fill a drop warden. Re it's got reach. And for two mana cost and a tap, sacrifice this card. Return target instant or sorcery card from graveyard to hand. Active only as a sorcery. That's what he looks like. Uh, Philrim of the Ages. It's a spirit creature. When Philrim of the Ages enters the battlefield, you may search your library for basic planes card. Reveal it, put it in your hand, and shuffle your library. Or, for six mana, you can tap it and reveal... And return Thelma of the Ages from your graveyard to your hand. That's what he looks like. Um, Fuming Efficiency. No, Effigy. It's a spirit creature. Whenever one or more cards leave your graveyard, Fuming Effigy deals one damage to each opponent. That is what he looks like. This is an artifact. Team Pennant. Pennant. It's an artifact equipment. Equipment creature gets. Equipped creature gets plus one, plus one, and has vigilance and trample. Equipped creature token, one mana. And to equip, just equip it, not as a creature token, you cost three mana. That is what he looks like. I think this is the last one I'm going to do right now, and then I'm going to do the other ones in another video, because we've already gone through a lot today. Um, Zephyr Boots, Artifact Equipment. Equipped Creature has Flying. Whenever Equipped Creature deals combat damage to a player, draw a card, and then discard a card. To equip it, it costs 2 mana. That's what it looks like. 
Uh, this is a four either plain, no, four either forest or water. It's a human wizard. When Manifestation Sage enters the battlefield, create a zero zero green and blue fractal creature token. Put X plus one plus one counters on it, where X is the number of cards in your graveyard. That is what he looks like. And... Necromancy. It's an enchantment. You may choose to play Necromancy as an instant. If you do, bury it at the end of turn. When you play Necromancy, choose target creature card in any graveyard. When Necromancy comes into play, put that creature play into play as though it were just played, and Necromancy becomes a creature enchantment That on that target creature. If Necromancy leaves play, bury the creature. That's what it looks like. Uh, Crosan Grip, it's an instant, it's got split second, as long as the spell is on the stack, players can't cast spells or activate abilities that aren't mana accessible. Destroy target artifact or enchantment is what this one does. And then last one for the day, uh, it's a foil, it's a Tome Shredder. Creature, it's a wolf creature. It's a two attack, two defense. It's got haste. And for a tap, exile an instant or sorcery card from your graveyard, put a plus one plus one counter on Tomic Shredder. And that is what he looks like. He's all sorts of rainbowy. Well if you guys enjoyed while I I'm doing this. Uh, consider leaving a like on the video, because this is going up on YouTube after uh, Twitch. Uh, consider leaving a like on the video. Subscribe if you haven't already to become the newest member of my community. Um, or hit the follow button on uh, Twitch, because I haven't hit the peak uh, surge moment of being able to be subscribed to yet. But if you enjoyed it, please like, subscribe, follow, whatever you'd like to do. Uh, I'm going to be doing a couple taste tests here in the next couple of days with my fiance, or within the next week or so. It's her birthday coming up. Um, and I am going to be uh, unveiling the other Magic the Gathering cards that I have just off screen here. And I am going to be reviewing a couple new Mountain Dews that have been released. I dropped a uh, sleeve and I just rolled over it with my chair and it is damaged now. Cool. It's been, it's been thrown away. It's, it's been killed. Um. If you guys are interested in any of the cards, please let me know. Any of the cards that I have read out loud today, please let me know. Or any of the ones that I would like to, that I will read in the future, please let me know down in the comments below, and I will let you know how to get them. I may even just sell you that one directly for a lower cost, rather than putting it all together in like a random 50 pack or 100 pack or selling it by itself but um i do plan to sell them for what they are worth if they are single packs single ones um but if they are not single if it's like just like a random 50 or random 100 i'll be selling it for like 25 30 bucks maybe um for just 50 of them or 100 of them so, uh, for like 50 of them, probably like 20 bucks. For 100 of them, probably like 35, 40 bucks, maybe. I don't know. Prices may change, pro probably will change. I'm just saying random numbers right now because I am spouting words while putting cards in sleeves. Um, so we still have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 to go through in the future 
that I will be going through probably tomorrow or in a couple of days. I don't know. Probably tomorrow because today, tomorrow, and Saturday I'm early days off. So, yeah. And that's like really the only days that I can do this because I wear graybeards. So, yay. Um, again, thank you all so, so very much for watching. And I hope to see you all in the next video or the li next live stream, whatever I do. Either way, you should be seeing this video on YouTube if you're subscribed. Again, uh, same name on YouTube is Tars22. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video. Toodaloo, guys.